This is the world's largest invisibility shield. <laughs> it uses an optical effect that linearizes light to hide objects in plain sight. Okay, come out. <laughs> now watch how it'll only make me disappear. You can still see the tripod and I can squat up and down with it, but you don't see me. Today I'm going to be seeing how effective it is at hiding from people, and then we'll see if we can actually hide from a drone. We have a visual on target. If you've ever seen the sun setting over water, you might have noticed that there isn't just a perfect reflection of the round sun on the water, but there's a line of light coming from the sun. Or maybe you've seen car lights reflecting off the ground on a rainy day. They also reflect off in straight lines. Why does this happen? Well, what both of these scenarios have in common is that the light is reflecting off of little bumps. In the ocean, there are waves, and on the street, there are tiny little wet pebbles. So let's see what happens to a beam of light when it reflects off of bumps like this. If I take a straight beam of light and shine it off of the bumps, notice that it spreads it out everywhere. Now remember we're viewing it in a 2D slice from the side, so spreading out everywhere means that it spreads out in a straight line. So shining light on bumps spreads the light out in a line. If we look at the invisibility shield close up, you can see that it's made of plastic that has a bunch of tiny little bumps on it. But these aren't reflective bumps, they're transparent, so the light goes through it. If we look at our ray tracer again, then you'll notice that if I send a straight beam of light through transparent bumps, then the light bends when it goes through each semicircle. And this spreads out the light linearly again. You can see that if I take a straight beam of light like this laser and shine it through, then it spreads out the light into a line. But how does turning dots into lines make something invisible? Well, since it takes that light and spreads it out into a line, not only does it distort the image, but it also makes it much less noticeable. Because the intensity of that light is now spread out over the entire length of the sheet. For example, if I take this dim red light, you can easily see it. But if I stick it behind the shield, the light gets spread out across the full length. So the light that hits the camera is very dim, almost unnoticeable. Unless we turn out the light, then we can see it again. So the shield is very good at hiding things that are vertical, but it can't hide things that are horizontal. So now let's see how well this does hiding from people. I tried ringing my friend's doorbell and seeing if they would answer and then surprising them from behind the shield, but I think they thought they got doorbell ditched. This invisibility shield is so cool. You can even hide a horse with it. Okay, so I'm out here in the wilderness with my Mavic Pro drone. We're gonna see if we can turn on active track on the drone and start tracking me through the grass and see if I can lose the drone by running behind the invisibility shield. Let's see if it works. My only hope is the invisibility shield. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> So you can see the active track software easily lost me when I ran behind there, which might have happened anyways when I just ran behind something that obscured me, but usually it picks you up after that. But I think a human eye would be much better because there is a blurry spot where the invisibility shield is. For example, in this shot, let's see if you can spot me here. And there I am. If you're wondering where I got this shield, you can click the link in my description and buy it from the company that sells these. They sent me this one and they're currently running their Kickstarter for this shield, and a smaller version as well. And thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab, I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider hitting that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.